So I got a package, well, I've actually had it for several months now. It's been several months. Um, but I got a package a few months ago from Ohuhu. These are markers. Wow, that's crazy. Um, they sent me their 120 pack of the Honolulu set of markers, which is actually a set that I've uh, owned before. I got it about three years ago for Christmas. So it's been a little bit. Um, some of them, uh, I was, pretty young so I didn't take the greatest care of them so I haven't been able to use them for a while but they they sent me a set um, and I'm gonna use it today I have my new sketchbook um, if you watched my sketchbook tour you know that I was on sketchbook 11 and now I'm on sketchbook 12 I didn't actually finish sketchbook 11 um, I ripped all the pages out of the back and gave the paper to my brother so that's what happened to that. Um, but now we're on sketchbook 12. Um, so maybe in a different video, I'll go through what I've drawn in here so far. But today we're doing something different, right? Okay. So as you can see, I've, <laughs> I've already sketched what I thought that I was going to do, but now I kind of feel like doing something different, but we'll figure it out, I guess. We'll figure it out. Um, so I wanted, to, I knew that I wanted to do something Miku, and also recently the, the Pokemon and Miku collab came out, and all of the designs are so good. Some are less good than others. I'm not gonna say which ones. Um, it's just up to personal preference, I think, but I loved most of them so, so much. They were so good. Uh, so I wanted to draw them today. I, I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this sketch. Actually, I think I will. I think I will stick with this sketch. I've never drawn on camera before, guys. So this is going to be water type trainer Miku. This is gonna be, I believe it's rock type. And this is gonna be fairy type because those were my three favorites. I guess we should get sketching. I don't know. Is the lighting good? Can y'all see this? Do we need more light? Yeah, I don't know why I felt the need to talk for so long, but hi, it's VoiceOver Lucky here to do the voiceover. I think the reason I was so nervous in the recording was because this is going to be the first time that y'all have ever seen me do, like, traditional art. Uh, and my process is a lot less structured when I'm doing traditional art. So like y'all have seen my sketchbook before, right? In my sketchbook tour video, but y'all have never seen me draw like in my sketchbook. And the amount of trial and error that goes into any one of the drawings that I do in my sketchbook um, will make your head hurt, honestly. My head hurts just watching this footage. But anyways, uh, this is my first video of 2024. I feel kind of bad because I've had these markers since December and I drew this in January and it is what the second week of February is when I'm going to get around to posting this probably. Um, so if you're watching this when it comes out, my birthday was a few weeks ago. Yay! I wanted to have this video out before my birthday. I wanted to have this video out in January um, because my birthday was the 4th of February. Um, and that didn't end up happening. A lot of things have been going on, so I apologize for this video taking forever. This is the first kind of video I've done where it's actually like a live video of me drawing. And as you'll probably see, I take a lot of breaks where I just sit at my computer and play video games. Like during this footage, I'm probably watching YouTube or playing Papa's Freezeria or something like that. That's what you see me doing with my mouse, is probably either looking at Pinterest or playing Papa's Freezeria. Anyways, about the drawing that I'm doing in this video about a drawing that I did, um, I'm doing rock type, fairy type, and water type Miku um, from the, I believe it's the Project Voltage collaboration. And I picked these three because they're my favorites. It was actually between rock type, flying type, and dark type for the third. Miku, but I picked rock type because I thought that her colors would work better. Um, but her her outfit gave me a lot of trouble because I don't really know how to draw like geometric shapes. I think I'm about to talk about it in a second. Uh, you'll see here that I'm just finishing up the sketch of the sketch 
because I do two sketches. I do the under sketch and then the over sketch before I actually start lining. And this is the under sketch just to figure out where everything is. Okay, so here's what the sketch looks like so far. We've got Water Miku, Rock Miku, and Fairy Miku. Uh, she's looking a little rough, please don't look at her. Um, but yeah, so now I've done the actual sketch. Um, it's been a really long time since I've used alcohol markers. Um, what I used to do was I would line it and then color it, but sometimes that would mess up my fine liners um, oh, who actually sent me some fine liners? Let me go get them. Yeah, along with the markers, oh, who, who sent me uh, this eight pack of fine liners, which I've actually already started using. Um, so, yeah, so I'll be using these as well, but I'm not sure if I want to line before I start coloring or after. We'll see. Can you tell I'm not very good at recording in real time? I don't know what I was yapping about. But yeah, anyways, for the lining, I'm using Ohuhu's fine liners, presumably, if I would actually start lining in the footage. I guess I just lied when I said that I was about to start lining. I guess I still had some refining of the sketch to do. But yeah, like I said, I do two different sketches, so I guess this is the over sketch that I'm about to start doing. So I don't know why I said I was about to start lining. It's not important. Anyways, so I was going to draw the Pokemon that is shown in their concept art with them in the picture, but I'm not really a super big Pokemon fan. So I don't know if I would be able to do the Pokemon themselves justice. I would feel bad if I got something wrong and then all the Pokemon fans in my comments were like, you didn't color Clefairy the right shade of pink. Um, I think I would have been bullied off the internet. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was actually kind of scared to start lining because I don't actually use fine liners all that often when I use alcohol markers. Normally I just color over a sketch. But I actually really liked using the Ohuhu fine liners. Normally the reason I wouldn't use them with an alcohol with alcohol markers is because they smudge. The the pens that I've used in the past have smudged. But these didn't smudge at all. You will see there's a lot of lining in this picture. And how many smudges are there? Zero. Not a single one. I alternated between the brush liner and the 0.3 millimeter liner for this, but I used pretty much all of them. In this eight pack, there's a really good variety of like thicknesses. Like there's a soup, I think the thickest one is like um, a full millimeter. And then the thinnest one is a 0.2 millimeter or a fifth of a millimeter, which is super small. I didn't end up using that one. Um, like I said, the ones that I switched between most were the 0.3 and the brush liner. But y'all know I will sing Ohuhu's praises all day, every day. I've actually used these liners for a few uh, drawings since the recording of this video, and I never use fine liners. Normally you will catch me using either ballpoint pens or just pencils. So that really speaks to how good these fine liners were if I use them, and I don't even like fine liners most of the time, but I love these, dude. Like I think I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I used to do a lot of alcohol marker drawings in my older sketchbooks around 2019 or 2020 or so. Pretty much every page would be a full illustration, fully colored and lined. Um, and I never filled up a single sketchbook doing that. I'd probably get through about a third of it before I would get sick of looking at the drawings in there and I would switch to another one. So it's definitely been a while since I've done a full page illustration like this in a sketchbook, but it was super fun, if not extremely time consuming. This footage is probably sped up about 15 times and this is still one of my longer videos. So yeah, this took me a while, but it was super fun and really relaxing too. Normally I get super stressed out when I line things like this, but like I said, the fine liners made this super duper easy. It was really fun. I can't wait to use them again. I'm thinking about it right now as we speak. Anyways, there's about to be like 10 minutes of uninterrupted sped up footage and I can't talk about the drawing for that long, I don't think. But what I can talk about is me. I can talk about myself. You might have noticed that I was gone for like a month and a half. 
What was up with that? I'm gonna be so honest. I don't know. I don't even know if I would have posted this right now if I hadn't literally agreed to post this in January like I wanted to, but I got sick. So I had to post this now. And in the wave of YouTubers quitting like MatPat and MatPat is the only one I can think of right now. Anyways, in the wave of YouTubers quitting, I was like, hmm, I don't want it to seem like I'm quitting, but I have nothing to post. Honestly, it's pretty much just burnout. November is one of the worst times of the year for me and it happened to carry over into December and January and February. So I've been super burnt out and I haven't really drawn anything that I would want to post on here. Even on my Instagram, I've slowed down on posting and I mainly post like joke stuff on my Instagram. So yeah, I really, the explanation is just that I haven't been drawing. It's not really a conscious choice, like I'm not really like making the choice to do other things instead of drawing. With the exception of play Animal Crossing. I just got back into Animal Crossing New Horizons after not touching the game for like three years. And guys, I'm having a lot of fun, that's probably why. But yeah, when I started to go from posting weekly to posting bi-weekly to only being able to manage a good video maybe once a month, I started to get kind of discouraged because why wasn't it as easy for me to make videos? Like was I losing my spark? Were people not wanting to watch what I had to say anymore? I wanted to do all these things like change up my editing style, mess with my sprites some more, change my art style, change the whole personality of my channel. And I didn't want to post any videos until I was ready to go through with all of that, but then I realized I would probably be waiting to post a new video forever. If I waited until my art was good enough, or my editing was good enough, or my channel looked exactly how I wanted it to, then I would just never post another video, because nothing's ever going to be perfect, right? I posted my very first video six months ago, having never touched a microphone, never edited with Premiere Pro, and look where I am now, right? I wasn't perfect back then, but people still enjoyed me enough to tune in to watch me every week, or every other week, or every month. And even with the videos that don't do as well, there are always going to be people who enjoy them. Like, my sketchbook tour video didn't do as well as videos normally do on my channel, but that's okay, because I had people in my comment section telling me that after they watched that video, they picked up a pencil for the first time in months because they were inspired to draw again after seeing what my sketchbook looked like. And that's always been my goal, is to show people that you can post your art and people can still love it and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can be imperfect and people can still love you so much. My self-insert video is now by far the most popular video on my channel and that is just a video of me talking about how it's okay to be cringe and so many people have been telling me that that video has made them feel seen and now they want to get back into making self-insert OCs because they stopped because the internet told them it was cringe. There are always going to be people who think that. There are always going to be people who comment on my videos that my redesigns are bad and that I just need to stick to making OCs. But there are also, hopefully, always going to be the people who tell me that my designs, my videos, inspire them. And as long as those people are there, I can't stop making videos! I can't just stop posting because I don't like my editing, or I don't like the sound of my voice, or I don't like my art. I have people to make happy. There are, what, 61,000 of you guys now? That's like half of the people that live in my city. And the fact that all 61,000 of you decided that you liked my content enough to subscribe tells me that maybe it's not as bad as I think it is, and that my editing style doesn't need changing and there's nothing wrong with my art. Or maybe there is, who knows? I don't. 
Anyways, for the people who keep asking when the next video is, it's right now. Right here, right now. And in 2024, I wanna get better at posting consistently at least every other week. And I want to probably branch out from redesign content, do more original stuff. I already have sneak peeks of it up on my Patreon that I just launched that I said I would launch at 60K. I have a Patreon now. Um, so was that a smooth segue, guys? I think that was pretty smooth. On my Patreon, I have four different tiers. There's $2, which will get you, you know, sketches for my videos, um, concepts that I don't show in the video, and sometimes entirely scrapped artwork for videos altogether. For $5, you get to vote on polls for my next video, and you get to see sketches for art that I won't post anywhere else. For $7, you'll get Patreon-only videos, which I already have one up there right now. It's like 20 minutes long that you can go watch, as well as full pieces um, that are Patreon exclusive, and then access to an exclusive chat in my Discord server. And then the $10 tier will get you all of that, as well as your name being read at the end of my videos. So stay tuned to hear the names of my first two uh, top tier Patreon subscribers. I announced it in a community post a few weeks back, as well as on my Discord server, and I guess two people were excited enough to go ahead and subscribe, even though I hadn't announced it in a video yet. I have a lot of ideas for things that I'm going to post on there, including uh, concepts for OC content that I eventually want to talk about someday. So if you'd like to support me, I would really appreciate it. I'm working towards making YouTube my full-time job, which means that I will have more time and access to resources to make y'all more content. So it's a win-win for both of us. The Patreon exclusive videos will probably be once a month or so, and they're not going to be like super well edited videos like the ones you'll see on my channel. Well, I don't know if I'd call those well edited, but you know, videos I spend a lot of time on, like upwards of a few months on each video. It's probably just going to be me talking over a speed paint, which is pretty similar to what I already do, but you know, you know what I mean. It's unscripted, kind of just me yapping so if you want to hear me talk more i have a 20 minute video of me talking about baldur's gate 3 on my patreon for subscribers seven dollars and up i'll have a link to my patreon in the description but if you can't support monetarily that's completely understandable i appreciate you listening to my whole rant about that anyway um if you'd like to support me in a way that is not financial you can always subscribe again you can like this video uh you can go follow my instagram and my twitter i'm gonna start posting more art on there hopefully um i'm gonna try and do some more digital art in the coming months that was one of my resolutions for 2024 is to start doing more full pieces um so i hope to post that soon somewhere i don't know i'm still relatively new to this posting my art online thing so please Bear with me and be patient. Soon, there will be an easy place for you to see all of my art somewhere. Anyways, we've started coloring. I'm using the markers. Wow! Right off the bat, you can tell I had a field day with shading. There are so many different shades of every color in this pack. There's 120 markers in this pack. Um, but unlike most marker sets, there's actually a good variety of, like, light and pastel and dark tones instead of it just all being pastel or all being super bright or all being super dark and that's why i love this set so much enough to have got it twice one thing that bothers me most of the time with marker sets is there is too much of one color and not enough of another color and normally that means too many reds and pinks and not enough blues and purples but with the 120 set from Ohuhu, that problem is non-existent. There is such a good variety of colors, and I love all of them. There's so many good blues in here, guys, and you know I love blue. Another thing is the yellows. There's such a good variety 
of like bright yellows and yellow greens and yellow oranges and dark yellows. I love yellow, guys. There's also a surprising amount of colors that you can use for skin tones. It's not explicitly like, you know, a skin tone pack like some of their other color packs might be, but there are a lot of colors that you could use for varied skin tones in here. Granted, uh, all of the Mikus in this video are pretty much similar skin tones, so not the best example to show off the amount of diversity in the marker pack, but if I ever do any more videos like this in the future, um, let it be known that I will be using this marker pack. I intend to keep it until the end of time. I love these markers so much. The layering is beautiful too. That does not need to be said for Ohuhu markers, but the quality out of this world, guys. I love Ohuhu markers. Like, I hadn't used alcohol markers in a good long while before I drew the art for this video. And you can see, like, the blending in the hair and on the sweater. It was so easy. These markers make it so easy. Ohuhu markers are also extremely well priced. Like, these, they sent me these for free, but if they hadn't, I literally would have bought them again. I was already considering purchasing them again when they sent these to me, so it was perfect. You can see here the variety of blues that are in this set. Delicious. I love blue. It might sound like I'm being dramatic, but coloring with this set made me remember why every single page in my older sketchbooks was just filled with illustrations that I had done with Ohuhu markers because this was so fun. One thing that was different about the set that they sent me and the set that I had from like 2020 is the set that they, that they sent me were actually brush tip and fine tip and the one that I had got in like 2019 was brush tip and chisel tip and I actually didn't end up using the chisel tip all too often but I ended up using the fine tip for this drawing multiple times and it was so handy and I didn't even know that they made brush tip and fine tip so I think that those are newer um, I don't think they had those back when I got this set the last time so I was extremely thankful for that I don't know if y'all can tell but I was an extremely big Ohuhu fan before they sent me these markers and I will continue to be while I use these markers for the next 10 trillion years. Ohuhu, I love you guys. I'm your biggest fan. Mwah, I'm sending you a kiss. Even if you don't need an 120 set of markers, Ohuhu still has tons of different marker sets. There's 36 sets, I think there's 60 sets. I don't know, I think I'm just making stuff up, but you should go check out their website anyway. Uh, there will be a link in the description as well as in the comments. Anyways, I'm pretty much done with the piece. I just have to finish coloring her top, I guess. Um, I hope you liked this style of video. I liked making it. Recording the voiceover was fun, even if I kind of went off the rails a little bit there in the middle, but I think that I'm gonna hand it back over to real time Lucky. So take it away, Lucky. All right, so after taking a break to go eat a sandwich, I have finally finished the piece. Um, this is literally the first full illustration I've done with alcohol markers in my sketchbook in years. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not sure what voiceover Lucky said, but I hope that it was entertaining. Anyways, I have been Inkyo, and I will see you very soon.